thought you were asleep hours ago. I can't sleep here anymore. Oh, here anymore? Why, it's a little quiet up there all alone, huh? Kind of. And the barracks at school... The, the barracks? The barracks, they call a dormitory the barracks at that school. Come here. Here's an hour and Get used to it. Snuggle. Barracks. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, barracks. Just like in the army. Anyway, there's 30 guys in every barrack, so somebody's always moving around. Or at least breathing, you know? Yeah, well, hopefully. And when you're home, Jason's usually here, too. Hmm. Would you believe it? I actually miss my little brother. Yeah, I can believe it. He's a pretty good pal. Did you ever see him play baseball? I have not seen him play baseball lately, but we're going to have plenty of opportunity to play this summer. Will your leg be better? My leg is almost perfect right now. In fact, just might race you on upstairs back to bed. Mom. What? Can I ask you a question? Sure. Are you and Dad planning on getting a divorce? What? Whatever gave you... I know. I'm... What gave you that idea? Well... I just... You know. No. No, I don't know. I honestly don't know. We don't want any surprises. Jason and I. I mean, I know you don't intend for us to hear. But Jason and I, we hear the fights you and Dad get into. I guess you guys really hate each other sometimes. No. Oh, my love, no. No, we don't. We fight, yes, but we don't hate each other. That's what usually happens first. Parents always deny this stuff. Then they send their kids off to military school so they won't hear, and then they get a divorce. Um, who says that this usually happens? Guys at school. I hardly know any kids whose parents aren't divorced. Oh, I... I'm, um... I'm speechless. I had no idea you were taking this, this kind of worry around with you. And Jason, too. We talk about it all the time. Jason cries sometimes. He gets so worried. I even feel like crying sometimes. Oh, baby. Oh, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I had no idea. Your father and I do fight, yes. But it is childish and it is stupid. But we do. We love each other. Really? Really. And listen, I have a promise for you. We are going to try very, very hard never to have these kind of fights again. Things are going to change, my darling. I promise you. Good evening, dear. Oh, well, Lila. How was the fundraiser? Well, to tell you the truth, it was a crashing bore. But it did raise some money, and uh, I might add that it sent Edward straight to bed. <laughs> well, most things that happen after 9 o'clock at night usually do send him straight to bed. I'm surprised to see you up, dear. Oh, well, I think I'm going to be up for quite a while, actually. Alan and I are going to have a little chat. It's a rather long, overdue chat. That is, when and if he comes home. Is something wrong, dear? Oh, well, call everything I've tried to do as a mother wrong, I'd say, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it can't be that bad, dear. Well, it just so happens that Alan Jr. came downstairs a little while ago and he said he couldn't sleep. I kind of thought it was because Miss Jason or his friends at school, but... No, it turns out that the boys have overheard the lousy arguments that Alan and I have been having and they've taken them rather literally. In what way? Well, to wondering whether their father and I were going to get a divorce. Oh, good heavens. I don't want a divorce, Lila, but I will not subject my children the kind of arguments that have escalated into a lifestyle for Alan and me. 
I think they should rather have two stable single parents than the two of us. Well, you're not seriously talking about a divorce. Oh, please, Monica. Look, it would certainly relieve a lot of their anxieties. They wouldn't have to grow up with a lot of fear. Oh, you can't mean that. Do you know where your son is? No, do you? No, but I have a pretty good idea that wherever he is, he is with a woman, and that's going to stop. Now, we're either going to shape up this marriage, or it's over. Monica, I didn't expect to see you. I'll bet you didn't. I waited up for you, as a matter of fact. Well, if I would have known that, I would have come home from the meeting earlier. Uh, we were actually talking about hospital business, a couple of guys from the clinic and I, we got together, we went and had a drink. Oh, well, don't waste your breath, Alan. I called General Hospital hours ago. You weren't there and you hadn't been there. Well, I went to look at a new car. Oh, knock it off, Alan. Really. I'm going to say something to you. Might surprise you. But it's quite serious, and I want you to listen carefully. Are you listening? With every pore. It's cute. So damn charming. Such a jerk. Is that the surprise? No, this is. Okay. I don't care where you were tonight. I don't care who you were with. I know you were with a woman. I could draw up a list, but it doesn't matter anymore. You're right, this is not like you. So tell me, what does matter? Our children and their future. Nothing wrong with our children, they're doing very well. I mean, except for a little pre-adolescent rebellion. Don't write your children off so easily, Alan. If you don't know how they are, you think they're fine, it's because you haven't talked to them. I have. Your son came downstairs earlier, and he wanted to know if you and I were going to get a divorce. Then why would he say something like that? Oh, I don't know. Probably because he knows us better than we know ourselves. See, they've heard us fighting, Alan. They've believed us. So that's going to end. Well, hallelujah to that. That fighting is going to end. The infantile behavior that leads up to the fighting is going to end. And this time, I mean it. I believe you. Don't. I mean this, Alan. Tonight, above all nights, say something just to shut me up or because you think it's what I want to hear. Because this marriage is going to go on a completely different plane or it's going to end. I must tell you something, Monica. All of this sounds terribly familiar to me and it's never held true. Now, why should this time be different? What are the new rules? Honesty, fidelity, and an end to the one-upsmanship game that we so love to play. And what about love, Monica? I didn't hear that on your list. I mean, have we forgotten about that altogether, or is that something we're going to try to work out as well? Uh, let's um, work at what we can accomplish. Maybe when that's done, the love will still be there.